Hey what's up guys, in this new video I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect your Razer Ripsaw HD to your Nintendo Switch. So what you're going to need are these two things, a TV and your computer. So once you've hooked up your TV to an outlet and then your Nintendo Switch as well, you would put it right here. So what I'm going to be connecting first is the out port. So you're going to need your own HDMI cable because the Ripsaw HD only comes with one. I'm using the one that came with the switch so that's what I'm going to do. So once you have your TV plugged in and your switch plugged in and you have the Ripsaw out with all the cables laid out, this is the HDMI cable that came with the Nintendo switch. So you want to connect one end to the Razer Ripsaw HD and the other end to the TV. So we have that end connected. And the other end goes to the back of your TV. And that's where the other end is. Okay, so the first step is completed. Nice. Second step. You were given these two golden HDMI cables. What are you gonna do with these? You're gonna connect one end into the HDMI in port and the other end is going to go into your switch. So that is one end connected and then this one will go to the Nintendo Switch. So here's the back of the switch. You just want to open the back lid. And insert the Razer Ripsaw's HDMI cable into the L port. Step two, completed. The next step is to turn on your TV along with the switch, which is already on. So this is where it leads us to step three. So if you guys watched my previous video talking about the setup and unboxing of the Ripsaw HD, you were given this Type-C cable uh, going from Type-C to a USB cable. Looks something like that. This one's much smaller and this is much bigger. You'll connect this Type-C cable into the Ripsaw HD and then this USB to any one of your USB 3.0 ports. All right, so that's connected. Okay, so I'm gonna plug it back in again because what I did before is I plugged it in and then I recognized it so the image on the TV did not change. I'm gonna do it again so you guys can see that as soon as you plug this USB in to your computer that the image will change. So you hear that noise pop up and as we can see the switch is turned off. You turn it on, image will change. And there we go. So now once that happens, what you want to do is boot up your recording uh, software. So it could be OBS or it could be Streamlabs or Xbit. In this video, I have Streamlabs on. I would record my screen so you guys can just see it, but honestly, I, I think you guys can see pretty well. There we go. So now as you can see, it's capturing what's on the switch to Streamlabs. Let me take off the Joy-Cons. Alright, so we have a switch playing on right now. Let me turn off the volume. Alright, so you guys see how it's on the TV. Same thing as being shown or replicated onto Streamlabs. And I'm going to be moving the joystick so you guys can see that it's capturing the same time. Alright, so you guys can see both in the same picture now. So you see how it's moving on the TV. 
it's doing the same thing on my computer screen. So, go back to news. There's no lag in between. And if you guys watched my previous video, you guys would see that I played Fortnite on here and it captured it extremely well. It did what it was supposed to do. That's how it looks like on my TV. And that's how it looks like on Streamlabs. And on here, the colors are more vibrant, but that's because this TV is pretty old, so it may look a bit weird. All right, that wraps up this video. As you can see, setting this up is very easy. All you need is your two HDMI cable, the Type-C to USB cable, and your RIPSAW HD along with your Switch and your TV. It's very simple to do this, um, but like I said in my previous video, when you want to set up the RIPSAW HD to capture audio and everything, you, you're going to have to uh, tweak the settings and whatnot. But other than that, I hope you guys learned something today. If this video helped you, um, please say so in the comments so I could know. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you could, give it a like, maybe subscribe. And other than that, take care you guys. Peace.